Good morning, stamping friends. I am Corinne Braxton, sounding a little hoarse today, and it is July 5th, 2022, and welcome to my Facebook Live here in Bozeman, Montana. And uh, since I saw you last Tuesday, uh, I, I was actually planning to have surgery on Thursday, as you, some of you knew, I was going to have carpal tunnel. Hey, Munch, good to see you this morning. Um, I was going to have carpal tunnel surgery, and I went in for my pre-op things, and my COVID test, and my EKG, and all those things. Let me just turn that on mute. Um, and anyway, turned out I had COVID. So I have quarantined all week, and been coughing a lot. I'm doing pretty well. I've been pretty bored actually these last several days. Um, now I'm out of quarantine, but um, I did a lot of crafting and and a lot of uh, reading. I've been reading a lot of books. So um, anyway, oh, hey Kathy, good to see you this morning too. So good to see all of you. Hope you all had a wonderful Fourth of July and saw some great fireworks. Hey Carla and in, in Wisconsin. And we had some beautiful weather here. Lisa, good to see you, Lisa, and sending those hearts. I appreciate that. And um, oh, that really helps others find us. Thank you so much. Today, we I have some really cool cards planned for you. So I hope I can my, hope my voice can make it through this. Um, I don't know how I, I sound really weird to myself. Hey, Jan, good to see you too over in eastern Montana. Um, it's a seems like a pretty nice day here. We have some clouds in the sky. It's a bright, it's not real sunny, but um, it looks like it maybe could rain a little bit, but it looks nice so far. We are well into the celebration catalog, so and now we can open it. So that's really fun. Before uh, July 1st, we could not open it, and now we can. And we can point to things. I'm going to be using the Hippos Hippos today. I'm going to be using uh, this designer paper a little bit. Um, Rings of Rings of Love, the nature set. Just love it all. I'm going to be using the mini catalog too with some gnomes. And all three cards that I do are going to have the same formula. So I sort of like doing that. And... It just, um, it reinforces things. I can see a little, I don't know if I have a bug on my screen maybe there. Oh, uh, I think that. <coughs> <coughs> Thanks, Carla. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. Okay, let's turn the camera down. So, close your eyes there for a second. And here we go. Excuse me. Here are a couple cards just to focus. <coughs> Cute little hippos. And just. <coughs> and this 4th of July card. And this really, I'll tell you what, this is a free set. And it is really, it's a little putsy, but really fun. I will show that to you. It's on page 12. It's the tree lot dies, and it's really, it comes together quite nicely. I enjoyed it. I didn't think I would because I don't like putsy things, but that's pretty fun. So let's. Put those aside, and today we are going to use one of those little spring wobbly things, too. You can get those on Amazon. Um, I will show you how that goes. So, the first card that we're going to do is this one. 
And we're going to do all of our cards today with latches. It's one of my favorite things to do. And there's slightly different variations. This is, this is the latch. This part, the circle part, is from this die. It's been in the catalog three years now. It's called Painted Label Dies. And this, well, actually, it went with the poppies. I don't know. I think now it's, it's we still have the poppies, but they stand alone. But this die is a wonderful die, and it's one of my favorites, and I use it quite a bit. Um, and I like these labels also. But I like using, I have two of these, because I do a lot of, I use this a lot of times for swaps, or classes, and um, it works well. So here it goes. We're going to be using a lot of Poppy Parade today. And we're going to take a regular base. Let me see if I have this. I better check and see about my, where we are. There we go. I know I can see myself. Um, okay. There we go. And we have a base that's five side closing, five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to cut off one inch. I'm going to do this on, on one inch. And I'm going to save that one inch piece. There I go. Say, I'm going to save that. That's going to be our latch. So, and I'm going to, I always like, so whenever I do a belly band or latch, I like to curl it with my bone folder. It's also going to help me see where it is so I don't lose it. So now we have this card with a one inch cut off and we have some designer paper, four inches by five and a fourth. Again, I'm going to cut off one inch on that. So bring my trimmer up, cut off one inch. Set that one aside. This is going to go on the front like that. On the back of this, this is free paper during celebration. I really like this particular mushroom in the foliage and then the other side so this goes right here the part we cut off we're going to put it on a white card first the white card is four by five and a fourth and i like to reverse it so i like those tree the tree rings we'll put put those right there and just put it like this. There we go. And put our seal on it. Get my little silicone mat handy. So now I'm going to adjust. I like the way it peeks out. So like this. There we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, I forgot. Oops. Forgot, forgot, forgot. I was moving ahead too fast. I'm going to stick my ruler in there and try to get that up before. Because this goes in here, this latch. And so what I do is, and you probably could see me, you were probably thinking, oh, I hope she doesn't close it up. And But I couldn't hear you saying that. I'm just going to lay that right in there now like that. Just try to keep it nice and straight. And there, now it's going to be caught right there. It's a little big. I'm going to, but that's okay. We're going to just cut it off. I just bone fold it right there. Take my snips and cut it off right in about there. Not a real formula to that. And now you're going to, I've already die cut this circle. Look at how it just really is such a, I love that airy look. And so that's going to go on here like this. And um, I'm just going to put a little bit of my Seal Plus, a really heavy duty one. I'm gonna do a light touch. It needs a light, light touch. It's very, very strong. You always wanna go sort of backwards on itself like that to break it. It has little tiny, you can almost, I don't know if you can see the little tiny cuts in between. Now I wanna get this nice and centered. Do you see how this, 
This card is going together so fast. Very, very fast. And now we have to do our stamping. And we'll set that aside and get our stamps out. We're going to be using Crush Curry and Soft Suede. And they're photopolymer stamps. They're from the ring. Ringed with nature. So the paper is free in the catalog in the celebration with the $50 purchase. Ringed with nature is the stamp and then the dies and the uh, embossing folder. They're in the mini catalog and that's one of those hybrid that will cut and emboss at the same time. It's a little scary, but it's that's the way it works. Okay, here it is, and here's the mushrooms. They also could be called um, little lolly, you know, drum gumdrops, but they're really cute. I really like those a lot. Um, and let's see, what was I going to put in the middle? Oh, I think maybe I forgot a uh, stamp, but we'll do uh, thinking, thinking of you. So... I'm going to have to get that out of here and put it on a block. And let's see once if I can find it. Thinking of use right there. I sort of save a lot of pieces in the inside. Makes it sort of messy, but at least I don't I know where they are then. Okay. And we will put I'm going to whenever I'm going to just set my my little gnome right over there. Um, whenever I'm putting my blocks on, I like to actually use my grid paper and line them up and then so it's straight, the writing looks straight and um, like that. Okay, and now we're going to do our, our stamping. We're going to do our little mushrooms. Mushrooms seem to be very popular this year in paper and clothing and fashion and whatever. This is the little, this is soft suede. And put up my chamois there. And then our gumdrops. We're going to put that. Our gumdrops are going to be in the crushed curry. And all three of these are on the same block. There's a little piece of fuzz right there. Okay. And I'm going to. I am going to take my grid paper away right now so I can see those really well. Can you see them or do I have them lined up? There we go. I'm way up here in the air. There. Aren't those cute? And now we'll do the thinking of you on the inside. We'll do that. And... I'm going to just pull that a little closer to me so I, I can see, make sure it's it's straight. There we go. Thinking of you. And if you wanted, you could, we could put, we could put another little gumdrop down here. Or not gum, they're not gumdrops really. They're little mushrooms. But there we have that. And now we're going to just, Put this on with some dimensionals. And I think I'll take one of my little handy dandy um, bake my dimensionals that I cut. Those are, I, I really like these, these foam adhesive sheets. Like you get um, six packages of these six layers and you just cut them and cut them and cut them. And anyway, it's fun. I like to use them a lot because it's easier. There we go. And our card is finished. Thinking of you. Could be a, a sweet little get well card or something like that. Or just for no reason at all, just thinking of you today. And um, let's see. We'll put, oh, I meant to stamp on the envelope. But I didn't. That's okay. We will do the next card and we'll try to remember that. Okay, we're going to do the little hip pose next. Cute little 
girl hippo. Cute little girl hippo there. Oh, that one got a little smashed. And um, I think, what do you think? Do you think we should do mint or poppy? These hippos are, um, they're very fun. With a $50 purchase, you get the stamp. And with another $50 purchase, you get the dies. So with a $100 purchase during celebration, you get this fun set. And they really are fun to color, fun to stamp. You could leave them black and white. But they're just as cute as can be. I think my tripod is falling there. I'll try to move these. Try to make sure. Okay. Oh, hey. Tess, good to see you this morning. We are... Tess is down in Texas. I bet it is hot, hot there. Okay. Um... The girl hippo in that color. Okay, I think we'll do the that's mint macaron. We'll do mint. Do you see what I did here? This one has the designer paper. This one just has the white. And it doesn't make any difference. I just left it off. What do you think? Do you like it plain or with the little flowers there? Um, this designer paper is going to be... It's Okay, again, five and a half by eight and a half. We're going to cut off. We're going to bone fold it. And then I don't think I have my designer paper cut. So I think I forgot that. But I do have, I have it right here. And it is, so I've got this. I always like to put my designer papers in these big plastic things. I think I either got them from Amazon. I don't know who makes them anymore. Uh, sometimes Hobby Lobby will have them. And, but anyway, that's how I keep my, my designer papers. Okay, so we're gonna do uh, four inches. Let me see one's here. Four inches. By five and a fourth, five and a fourth. There's that. It's a pretty flower sound scene on one side, and that plaid with the poppy, and it almost looks like a little bit of calypso and mint. And now we're going to cut off one inch again. Let me see if I. Oh, I did not. I was not looking at the designer paper. Well, that answers that question. I have more paper, but I, I don't need to take it off. See, so on this one now, we need to cut the mint. So I'm gonna cut it off one inch again, just like we did on the last one. Here we go. And we're down with the paper cutter. And we can now put this on the outside. We could do it this way, but it's the wrong direction. So we're just gonna go with the plaid. I really like that plaid anyway. It's really sort of a good looking, good combination of colors. Okay, then we bring in our white four by five and a fourth, and that's for the inside. Now, we could do it like this. You could put it, you could put the strip on like that but it's supposed to go like this, but the flowers would be going horizontally when they should be going vertically. So I'm gonna leave it off. <coughs> <coughs> There's my latch. And this time I'm going to remember to put my adhesive on first and then put my white over it. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm gonna put my really strong and this is a nice place to use up your grid paper again I like to actually line it up and make sure that you can either count down the squares or just eyeball it like that use your heavy your heavy duty and then just make sure that it's it's nice and straight by the lines like that 
And now we can put our white over that. Do you see how fast this goes together? There we go. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a good crease. My bone folder. I'm gonna snip it off. And I'm gonna put just a little bit of adhesive, the seal plus again. I have to always tell myself, be very gentle with that. And if it has a little bit sticking over the edge like this, it just curls it back on itself like that. It's really easy. Works really well. Um, okay, and now we're going to do our little green swirl like that. I'll just put that on like, there we go. And we can open it up. And do you see how that latches like that? I will leave it with the white. I've got a piece of poppy. And I'm going to just put that on. I just think it's a nice contrast because we're going to do the little dancing girl. <coughs> <coughs> and let's see what's where we have her. Let me get some paper out in my dancer. And we have these little wobbly things, these, um, oh, they're called Action Mini Action Springs Wobbles 48. I think they'll last a lifetime, and they don't, they don't cost very much, maybe 4 or $5, something like that. And um, I actually have several. I have some larger sizes, and then these smaller ones, and they're not real small either. So let me get... Um, a piece of paper and we will stamp our little girl and we'll stamp her in black memento so we're gonna get that like this get her all nice and inked up and isn't she just as cute as can be and I think we'll die cut her and there we have oh oh no I just got her all full of ink oh dear now I'm going to have to bring in my, my die cutting machine. Let me see once. Oh dear. Do you see how she's all smeared with black? Um, because I put my thumb in the black memento. But okay, I'll have to get the machine over here. And on the inside, I'm going to write, stamp, Ah, oh, you really are the best. There we go. And now... We will put the ink away. Oh, I forgot to show you. Here are two other cards I did with those mushrooms. These were just literally, literally with scraps. And there's that same mushroom. This one I, I, I fussy cut. I have this pulled out for you. Okay, I'm going to go get my little mini. Cut and emboss machine. I don't use this very much. I always use the, almost always use the big one. So now we're going to have to use the little one and I'm going to open it up and there we go and we're going to put our white platform down first and then what does it tell us to do for it actually will tell you um, with thin dies and so we're going to have a bottom plate. And this is the one for embossing. Folders we're not doing embossing. We're going to use the bottom plate first. And then we're going to put our, our uh, little dancing girl. Where did I put her? Hmm? Where did I put her, though? You girls are probably fine. You see, we probably see, and I don't even see her now. Oh, there it is right here. So I do need to cut a little bit because it's... And... We're going to put her on here like that. Can you see that? I think I'm out of the camera half the time. And let's see what's now. We're going to find our little dies and go with it. And these dies are adorable. Um, I'm not, I, they have waves and flowers and boats and buckets and rainbows, just as cute as can be.
little life preserver. And here we have our, our this is not magnetic. So I'm going to use a little post-it note. Luckily, I have that all within reach. So I'm going to put that on there. <coughs> Excuse me. Put that on. Plastic number two on top. And crank it up. Like you always put your one hand on top and crank with the other. That worked great. Everything's so little post-it notes work super. You know, Stamping Up has recalled the, the magnetic platform. And I am real I was really disappointed at first. I can understand completely why they did, because it is pulling apart very, very much. And Terry, excuse me, Terry thinks that um it's like putting metal through something. I, he explained it to me, and I didn't really understand. But I think it, it's going to be a hard fix. It's like the glue has pulled away on the magnetic platform. Um, and it's almost not possible to use it anymore. So Stamping Up has refunded all of money, all money for that. Um, and it wasn't very expensive. It was only $28. But it was such a great piece of equipment while it was working well. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to color this little gal. <coughs> and I'm going to use, let me see here, gray granite. I like the gray granite better than the smoky slate. Um, here we go. We have light and dark. I'm going to start with the, I'll zoom in for you. Yes, they really are cute, aren't they? Yes. Okay. I am going to use my dark gray granite and you can do this any way you want. I have tried, I've, cut, I've colored quite a few hippos now and what I do, I, I just sort of go around with my dark first like this and a little bit by the ears, a little bit by the hands and her top just along the edges is what I'm doing, and her legs. And then I come in with my lighter one, my lighter gray granite, and I just make little circles, blending that real lightly, not too much. Same with her arms. Just give them a nice little circle. And... And sort of blend down from those darker ones. And what I do then is I take my lighter one and I just sort of go around her cheeks like this. I don't, I've colored them in completely and I sort of like them better this way. You do whatever you want. Doesn't look like much there. And then I take my white um, color lifter. It doesn't really lay down color. It, it lifts up color. And what I do is I sort of Take, you can't see this, but it just sort of lightens that up. I go over it, it's almost like it's erasing that line, but it gives a little bit of a shadow. Right there. And as it dries, this alcohol, these alcohol markers, it will get lighter and lighter. Now, let's do our, let's see, what happened to my red, my poppy? It's right here. And we have the light and dark red uh, poppy colors. And we're going to do the, uh, we're going to do our little fingernails, toenails. Just because. I'm going to do our shoes down here. And we're going to do the darker part of our tutu. With the dark. See if I'm still in the camera or not. There we go. Almost. Almost done. And how many of you have these hippos already? Oh my goodness. They're fun. I think they're going to be a real hit this 
celebration. Now I'm gonna, there we go. Now, do you see how I, I actually went out of the line right there? Do you see that little mark? Well, I'm gonna take my color lifter. I didn't do that on purpose, but this is a good way to show you. You start outside and you push it toward the inside and it's, it erases it, it lifts it. That's why it's called a color lifter. Now it's still a little bit wet with alcohol, but you, it's mostly gone. And now we can put her, put a little spring on her. So we'll take one of these little gadgets and uh, put the rest of it. I don't know how many there are in a baggage, but a lot. And now, let's see once if I can find the, this has a adhesive on both sides. And I'm gonna lift this up on the one side, put it on my little girl, dancer. And now we're gonna lift up the other side. There's some lines right there. You can use your fingernail or your piercer. And do you see how I'm just lifting that backing? It's just a little adhesive backing. And now, we're going to put our little gal on her card. Here we go. And we're going to close it up. Make sure her point, her shoe is pointing down like that. Oh, hey, Linda, good to see you this morning. Just looked up and, okay, there we have the card. She's dancing. Oh, you really are the best. Could be, could be for anyone. Little granddaughter, could be for a friend. And just a neat card. So here it is with the flowered side. I didn't stamp anything in there. Oh, I put some, oh, we're gonna put some, uh, whatchamacallits right there. Let's see if I can find those. Those little gems. Uh, let's see if I can find those little buggers. Here they are in the next box. Let's see, here we go. You can tell I've used all the petal pink. And this is, we're gonna use mint macaron, which is just perfect for this card. And I would, I'm gonna slide a couple of them on down right here, just for fun. Just gonna use two of them. Usually I do things in threes. Ones are, ones are odd numbers, but I think that looks pretty good. It looks like enough. So we'll put it on there, and there is our cute card. Isn't that fun on that spring? And when you put it in an envelope, you would, you know, it'll stay flat until you open it up out of the envelope. Now, we should have a stamp. We can still do that. I'll do that real quickly. We can stamp our little gal, our little, if I can find my ink pad. And then you could color this. We'll just stamp it. Oh, I think we'll stamp it right here on this side. We don't want to interfere with the writing. So, like that. And there we go. Oh, I see what I did. I can see now. Here's where I had all that ink on the side. Oh, goodness. That I almost would be doing it again with the next one. I just saw that, so we'll wipe that off. Good lesson. Okay, cute little card. And our last card is going to be slightly different. Look at my thumb. Oh my goodness. This is a, I'm going to have to, let me see if I can get used. You know, uh, hand sanitizer is good for getting the sticky off. I don't know if it'll get. This almost looks like it needs a Nels Fapa, you know, the soap uh, to get it off. It's so, so heavy on there. Okay, next we're going to do the little gnomes. Cute little guy. This is the card. It's a latch card again. It's slightly different. We're not going to use the other formula. <coughs> My thinking... I had to do 21 of these for a swap. 
Oh, I didn't have to. I just love doing swaps. It was with my business group. And um, I had to do 21 of these. And they, they go like this. Anyway, I wanted to um, use this sparkly white that we have in our catalog. It's in our mini catalog. It comes in six by six. And I loved it. Actually, that wasn't my first thought. My first thought was something else. Um, I thought this was really neat paper. This... Okay, this, the white paper, uh, we could use the silver and gold. This is a freebie, the 6 by 6 Very nice. You can hardly see it in the catalog, in the celebration catalog, but it's really good. Maybe we'll use it today. Um, this is the one I originally wanted to use. I thought it was so cool. Looks like this. It has, like, nothing up here, and then gradually is a heavy set of, of dots, Comes in Cajun, nice for fall cards, and then evergreen. And I just thought, oh, that would be cool. I could cut a latch the entire way, and but it didn't work. So I, then I used the, the glitter paper. But I think we're going to use this now. This one is in, um, you can barely see it. I didn't even see it the first time I ordered in the catalog. Um... Uh, Oh, Carla, I think you're right. A little bow on her head would be perfect. Great idea. We have some of that pool party ribbon. That would be really nice. So this free paper, it's silver and gold, six by six. You get 24 sheets, some gold, some silver, dots and stripes, and you can barely see it. It's with a $50 purchase. Okay, let's bring up, this is the stamp set we're using. It's called Kindness. I have a mess going on here, don't I? Oh, goodness. Kindest Gnomes. And I adore. This is my favorite set in the whole catalog. Um, I've made several cards already with it. Um, just as cute as can be. I love the designer paper. I love the stamps. love coloring them, everything else, too. Um, it's, it's, I don't know what page it's on. It's a big suite in the catalog. Um... Page 42, page 42 and page 43, and uh, just as cute as can be. The dies cut out oh, the little mushroom houses, and they cut out the the, dwar the dwarves, there, the gnomes. It's just, it's very fun. Okay, and the reason we're going to do this one a little differently is because I want to show off, my, my thinking was to show off this this glittery band. See how I put it across like that? You could, obviously, you could put it inside right there, but I wanted to, it to be seen. So I did it differently. And this is how it goes. So we're going to use Poppy Parade again. And the base is five and a half by eight and a half, just like the other one. Inside is three and three fourths by five. And we have, I'll put that right there, because I will type these up, and um, when I post the pictures, I'll, I'll put the directions. The designer paper is three by four. That way we can get a lot from our paper. The white mat is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. Hey, Nancy, good to see you today. You lost track of time, no problem. You can always go back and watch the beginning. Okay. So now we're going to put our little, to our little, you should see my table here. It doesn't ever get this messy except during Facebook Live. That's because you have to have everything in hand. Can't. <coughs> there we go. Now, where's my adhesive? There it is. <coughs> there we go. Like that. And now, I think we'll take... 
<coughs> Sorry about that. The gold and white or silver and white? Which one do you think? So we're going to put it on the back like this. Do you think silver or gold? There's the gold. There's the silver. I think that'll be fun. What are you all thinking here? Well, in the meantime, while you're saying whether you want gold or silver, I will put down the inside. Like that. And, well, I have something. Looks like some of my cough sprayed right, right, right there. Silver. Okay. One, one gold. Let's see what's. Gold, silver, come on, we need someone else, two silvers, three golds, one, two, three golds, two silver, anyone else, silver, silver, okay, I think, we'll, I think it's a tie, it doesn't make any difference, we're going to go with silver, I'm going to bring my grid paper back in here and there we go and I want to lay this across I'm going to line it up and I'm going to put my this is not as heavy of a latch as the cardstock but it'll it'll still be fine now I want to use those grid lines to measure up like that. And then we're going to fold it through like that. Isn't that easy? And now we can put our, um, our little piece on. And this time, let's see once here, if I have a Let's see if I can find something. Okay, here is a punch. And the we're gonna use the decorative circle punch and we need some paper to, to punch out of and I don't have any with me here. So let me see if I can um, grab some really quickly. So we're gonna get the poppy. The pop, my paper is on the other side of the room here. And I'm almost out of poppy red. Stamping up has, was really slow last week in shipping. And uh, I ordered a long time ago and still do you not. Know, I think my order's coming today. But anyway, here's our little, we're going to use this instead of the swirl. And so it, it gives you the same look, only it's slightly different. I think I have a swirl cut here, but I don't know where it is. So we're going to just use this. And there we go. We're going to put a little bit of our adhesive on that. Somehow that doesn't seem as long as my other one, but it'll be okay. It'll be just fine. Now let's bring our circle in because that's where we're going to stamp our little gnome. And I will get... Get that black memento out again. You're going, oh no, now here we go again. Here we're gonna get our little little gnome. This is like the baby gnome. And let's let's quickly stamp one on the envelope too while I'm remembering. Oh, this band is one and a half by six inches. Oh, that hand now has ink on it. Let's see if we can. There we go. Well, let's see again. I think I have another envelope right here. I'll do that one right away. My black is really, I must have, I have not re-inked it either. But that is the way it is sometimes. Okay, let's do our coloring now of our little guy. And we have some poppy. Get my reading glasses on. 
And let's see what I'm gonna do his his um let's see if I can do my markers here. My blends. We're going to use uh, uh I like to use for the skin color. There it is. It was at the bottom hiding under everything else. I like to use the light petal pink for his skin. His little hands, a little bit right there, and his face just gets a tiny, tiny bit. His nose, like that, and now we'll bring in our reds, our poppy. <coughs> Our pool party, we're gonna, there's pool party in this, and there's mint in here, but I couldn't find my mint markers, so we're using pool party. Maybe we don't even make, maybe stamping up doesn't make mint. I'm not sure. I think we do though. There, that'll work just fine. <clears throat> A little crumb cake for his shoes. And we're going to have some red in his pants. Let's see what's here. I like to just, I just real quickly outline and do a little on his hat underneath, like that. right next to the edge and then I come in with my lighter one you can do it anyway some people go light to dark I, I usually go dark on the outside and then I blend the edges like that it's okay to leave a little white You can sort of blend out that line right there by making little circles. And down here on his little trousers. He's really a cute one. We need a little tiny dab of Calypso coral or pinks for the for his mouth. You know our alcohol ink is very tight That's so it doesn't dry. Now I like to use a little bit of gray um, smoky slate. I'm going to use that in his beard. You know, we have puff paint now, too. I'm really excited about using puff paint again at Christmas time. Cute on the gnomes. So I just put a little dash right there. <coughs> and then I'm going to take my wink of Stella. And I didn't want to color in the beard. I wanted to put a little bit of gray and I just gave it a little bit of sparkle with the Wink of Stella. And now we can put him on our card. But I don't like this being so. I think I'm going to put it right. I think I like the swirly thing better. And now we're going to put that on with a dimensional. And that we're going to be done. Make sure he's straight. And there he is. Now we can put something on this on the inside. And let's see. I think you're that we'll use this one. Your kindness goes does not go unnoticed. I mean, it's a nice thank you. Your kindness does not go unnoticed. There we go, and our card is finished. Cute. We could stamp another num little numb down there, but I don't want to take any more chances getting my hands in the ink today. There we go, cute little card. You could add some Wink Stella to, you know, some of the paper, but it's just as cute as can be. Here it is with um, the, the spiral. <coughs> <coughs> 
And if we could put a few more of these uh, faceted gems. They're called solid faceted gems. And <coughs> we use the mint. Here we go. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, I'm so sorry about my, about my cough, and I apologize for that. It almost seems like it's getting worse than it was than it was in the beginning. Um, so, which do you like better? Do you like the the swirly or the punch? What do you think there? Okay, close your eyes. We're all finished here. We'll flip back. <coughs> Oh, thank you very much. Okay. I'm so sorry about all the coughing today. Hopefully. I am, next week, I am supposed to go to Wisconsin to see my family. Um, we'll see how my cough is by then. I don't want to get pneumonia. So I need to keep keep an eye on my on that. And, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much, girls. I sure appreciate you tuning in today to watch. And I will let you know about next week if I'm going to Wisconsin or not. I have plane tickets. I was supposed to go at that time anyway. But it was going to be after my surgery. But now I still have my brace. And my surgery is not until August 11th. You have to wait six weeks after COVID um, to have surgery because of blood clots. So now that's what I'm, I have to wait again. So it's been a long process, this waiting. Anyway, but it's okay. I'm just thankful that, um, that, that they caught it during the pre-op because I, I could have gone in and gotten COVID the day, or had gotten really sick the day of the surgery. So I'm glad they have that precaution. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for joining. And um, I apologize about the coughing. And thank you for sticking with me, and I will hope to see you real soon. Thanks. Bye.